Hey guys, Mary the Barbarian coming at you here. Just an update. Got four emails I went through. Sent out three packages. One guy's package is ready. I'm just waiting for him to respond and make payment on PayPal. And throughout the week, I'll start moving on. Um, thank you, Carlitos. How do you say this? What is this? The Patiera Shaving Bowl? Is that right? Anyways, if y'all look real close, there's a little star down there. You know why there's a star at the bottom of this bowl? Because Carlitos tells me that I will lather like a rock star with this bowl. So we shall see, guys. We shall see. I'm excited. I've got three bowls now that I get to try to bowl lather with. I am a true shaving degenerate. So I'm kind of doing this as a shout out, and it's going to be a finish to my single edge series, which is nice. I finally get to finish out a series I decided to start, and like... Pfft, Really didn't stay on them like I should have. So what we're going to do today, guys, is this was my new old stock Valet Auto Strop. All right, I'm going to show you some differences in between the two. Now you notice the uh, strop is missing out of here. It's because I put it through a lot of conditioning, so I didn't get to straighten it like I wanted. And the little metal clip at the top. It's coming off, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this so that y'all get a good representation, but it's not going to work exactly properly yet. I'm going to keep the little hook I have up here hanging on my medicine cabinet. Come on. Oh, y'all can't see it. But anyways, I'm going to keep it hanging to remind me that while I'm working on this drop at some point, I need to come back and show you how this really works. Um, anyways, here's the new old stock one. So when you're using a valet auto strop, you've got the clicker that releases it. You click it back down, and when you do, the little guard, the straight bar, comes up and holds this in place. So you click it open, and you've got these. Let me get this right. It's hard to do. There you go. They open up. All right? And then... Let me get my feather blade out. And like I said, guys, this is going to be a longer video because I'm going to talk about this a little. don't know a ton, and I don't know the years, but I can tell you the difference between these two razors that seemingly look the same. Okay? So, you'll see these little notches. Your blade has to fit in there. And it used to fit in on, let's see if we can do this, the valet, because the old blades have valet stamped out. Like this has that stamped out. So, you'd go and take this and you try to set it in. And when you do it, it won't line up right on this one. And the reason it won't line up right is this damned little pin right here hits this little like in notch and it'll leave it askew so it doesn't work people i've seen videos i can't remember the guy's name this was a long time ago when i was first doing it you know first into the hobby looking into stuff gotten this razor was trying to figure out what kind of blades i needed to get for this and he was showing how to alter these blades and do the little snip and i think at one time they had carbon blades as well and he pointed out the carbon blades uh were really brittle and they could snap and, you know, crack and a bunch of other things. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. So here's the one that I got for like 10 bucks. The guy polished it up. No replating or anything done. So you see this one's different. Do you see it's not a little nub in a line? It's two lines? Yeah, I said nub. But anyways, there it is. So we're going to, this one's a lot easier to work than the other one. The other one was new old stock. Nothing was done to it. Like I'd never taken it out of the package other than pretty much just that. Or to try putting a blade in it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this feather blade with way too much glue. Come on, feather. I hate all their glue. But anyways, y'all see how that slides in nicely? Both pegs fit in great. So what I do is I take, close the flaps. We've got it in there. So, just to kind of give a general impression with this. 
Yeah, it's not going to work as well. Yeah. Things falling apart. Pretty much you would run it back and forth. Huh. Let's see if I can get this right. Sorry guys, I had a very eventful day and I wanted to spend more time with this, but I actually didn't get to like I wanted. So I'm going to open this up. Again, again, and again. So, do it like that. I'm just trying to see if I can figure this out and halfway get it right myself, guys. So, because I've wanted to use this, I've seen it demonstrated, but I've never, yeah. I'm going to fix it, but the point is, you run this back and forth on the thing, and it flips it back and forth and drops the blade for you. But I'm having issues because I can't get it to stay taut, and I've only got two hands. I'd need three to do it right. So, you get the general idea, guys. This does line up well. And this one, I don't know if it makes a difference. If you notice, this is a solid bar. What's the difference on this one? This is an open comb. So, maybe that would be the difference in the models. But, I mean, the handles look exactly the same. Everything about it looks exactly the same. Bummer. I got that nasty, brassing, funky stuff on my nice polished razor on the back. Oh well, it'll clean off easy enough and I'll get this drop up and going like I should. So guys, now that I talked about this razor for what, six minutes and 45 seconds? In a way, I said this was dedication to DK, but like I said, this is out to my boy Carlito. So this is shaped to like my boys and you know, Southern Witchcrafts. What is this, uh, Anthropophagy? Scent notes, y'all want to read them on there. Tonka, musk, lavender, cotton. Um, I actually like this scent quite a bit. I like the moth on there. So, I, I can't describe this scent. Um, I definitely recognize the lavender and the tonka, and you can, it does smell a little like cotton, but... Anyways, like I said, not a guy that can pick out sets well. But, we're going to give Southern Witchcrafts a try. DK. And, you're like, my boys, you know, you know who's feeling left out right now? And in a way, I'm sorry, Jeremy. I talk to you on a regular basis, too. And this is kind of something not up your alley as well. You're a single-edge guy. So, it's kind of a dedication to everybody, isn't it? Now... Ken Klitschko. Look at that beehive. That Rooney. Alright guys. So we let it drain out. And then we're going to go, okay. Right? That's Is that what you learned from that up and coming guy, Mantic 59? Is that what I understand? So we're going to get to lathering. We're going to rock star it. I hope I put enough soap in here. I hope. Did y'all see how much water that tiny ass knot held? <laughs> Sorry, that's just, woo, blew my mind. So we got it going. It's starting to get a little pasty. I'm definitely going to be adding some water. Definitely just right here what I'm doing is trying to make sure I get all the soap I smeared in the bottom up. Get that going. And I have not bowl lathered with a badger brush yet, guys. So I'm kind of doing this in honor of DK. I guess, you know, I guess I can do it in honor of anybody bowls lathers and uses a brush. Now, my boy Jeremy told me load a lot more with a badger brush than you would with the synthetic. And since I'm new, who knows if I really did that appropriately. But we're going to do a two-pass shave, and I'm sure I'm going to build enough lather. It's a little foamy right now. So we're going to give it that work, and we're just going to use the tips. Just the tips. You know, you all remember saying that in high school? Just the tip. Just the tip. Come on. Just the tip. Anyways. <laughs> Wet that face. My 
pre-shave today, guys, was a uh, shower and what's it? Uh, Son of Honeysuckle shampoo puck. I've told y'all I like to use that. We may just lather some of this to the face after I get it on here, although it looks pretty good. That is a nice scent, guys. I guess the cotton is pretty strong. Now that I've got it lathered and on the face, it's kind of nice. All right. Put some of that back on there. A little jack technique. All right. Let's see how this goes today. So I haven't used this razor very often. Um, I think I've used it through two blades, which is probably like five uses. So this is going to be new for me. The rattling kind of scares me, but I think it's good. Nothing moves when I went to shave with it. And I understand these are supposed to be like ride the cap, but I had to come off the cap a little. So I'm kind of amped up and excited, guys. It, it is fun to fill orders for Maddie. He likes the idea of getting the stuff that he's passionate about and loves doing out there. So it kind of makes me excited when I fill people's orders and people really want to try the soap. Like I said. Gets me pumped. So I got to look a little more with this. I'm not familiar with the head. And the other exciting thing about this was it may not be a straight, but I get to be using something other than a DE. No offense, guys, but since I've been straight razor shaving and stuff, DEs just aren't as satisfying of a shave because my technique has gotten better with a DE in my opinion um, and other people that are switching and you know they go back and use their DEs have been telling me the same thing as well so oh yeah that's lovely yeah it's like a cotton smell guys and as for Tonka I would have it's not as Tonka forward as you would think. I guess that cotton's a little bit stronger than I would think. And the lavender's pretty present. I guess you could say the musk is there too. Maybe I'm doing a better job picking out notes. That's why you should watch DK, guys. I think him being very much into beer and stuff like that and picking out taste and scent pro taste profiles and that, that's that's definitely what has led to him being much better at picking out scent profiles and soaps, or that's just something he's good at in general, and those two are very much connected. Poof. All right. So I'm probably not going to get BBS with two passes with this. I'll get a damn fine shave, but Part of the reasons I have to take more passes with the one blade is because I don't feel this blade is very aggressive. Efficient. What term do you want to use? See? That's just all I'm saying. 
well hydrated. Overall, very nice soap. Nicked a little right there. All right, Let's see where that line is. It's good enough. Good enough. So we got two passes in. Southern witchcraft. It's nice stuff. Just give it a wipe. Go back in for a rinse here in a second. I just like to see how it feels after I wipe down. Reason I do that is CK6 is something I've told people that for the first time ever when I got it, it felt so good when I dried my face off and stuff and so nourished and soft that I didn't use post shave quite a few times. And I can't say that I get that same feeling from this. There's a lot of things that are great about this soap. And, you know, some people say post shave, immediate post shave, that stuff's not important to them. And I get that. I'm not, I'm not saying it's important to me. I use plenty of soaps. It's not CK6, guys. And at that price point, it almost has to be a home run and scent for me to want to buy the CK6. So, you know, just being honest with that one. So, oh, congratulations, everybody that stuck around this long, because I get to tell you congratulations for getting us to over 200 subscribers. Keep forgetting to mention that. Um, I found out when I was uploading, not this last video, but the video before, and someone said congratulations. It's like, crap, you know, I did realize it, and I didn't realize it when I was doing the video to, like, thank everybody. So, I checked it out. I think geometry issues are fine on this razor. Like, there's no issues. I think geometry is good. It's not warped. I've done the Dr. Matt, figure out what I'm dealing with here. I've done the math on the spine versus length of the blade, and I, I think we're good. Um, JC Creations actually helped me out with knowing how wide your spine should be for how wide your blade is. So that kind of helps give me a rule of thumb on whether the geometry is jacked on whatever razor I'm messing with. So I have a Wade and Butcher that's got some geometry issues, all right? But these are actually newer horn scales. They're a little grayish kind of. They're not perfect, but they are nice, okay? And I think they will balance well with this blade. The size of the blades, if you look. I'm gonna try to do this right. The size of the blades. Y'all aren't going to see this. I'm doing a crap job. They're very similar in size. So these scales will do well with this. And that's going to be my 200 subscriber giveaway, guys. Um, I've got to get to work on this, get it cleaned up, and I'm going to send it off to the guy. And we're going to get that taken care of now. Okay, we did that. Let me do the rinse. Full rinse. All right. Let things sit for a minute. I'm just curious. I'm going to do it like I've done something with the CK6 and see how it feels. Now, I'm not going to use a matching splash today, guys. Um, actually, I don't know if they make matching splashes for this. Maybe they do. I didn't get that really into it. I was really just picking out some soaps. Um, but guess what, guys? Boom! There's my damn splash. That's what I'm talking about. My red bottle, my fallout. Smell of this. It smells so good. So we're going. Ooh, I hope the wife likes it. I've never asked her, and I didn't like really make her smell the soap, and I haven't had the splash. And guess what? We're smelling so strong today. Feels good, guys. Feels very good. And I would link this soap, but honestly, guys, when I was going through and I was trying to buy some tubs of some certain soaps. Because it's going to send some out to some people. They were out on Southern Witchcrafts. And they were out on Maggards. 
I guess I could look at, what is it, the Razor Company or whatever? I bet you they've got something. I should definitely look at them. Um, anyways, guys, oh, I really, it's just a good smell to me, man. I, there's very few smells that just get me like, oh, wine straws, wine straws, say whatever you want to call it. This is one of them. My son of honeysuckle. There are just certain ones that just, man, like, can I bathe in it? That's all I want to ask myself. Blot everything just a little dry. Feels like there might, I might have put it on a little heavy and less skin food it feels like in that. Not just alcohol. And honestly, if it's not a lot of alcohol, it tends to stay on my face a little bit longer, which makes sense because alcohol evaporates off. So guys, recap. Boom! Got my damn splash. Very excited, very excited. Southern witchcraft. Anthropophagy, I think is what it is. Got a cool little moth on there. Totally dirtied up the handle because I just let it sit in the lather bowl. Rooney, handmade, super badger, size one. So, let's see if you can see that. Ah. Oh well. But anyways, pretty cool little handle, brush. It's almost like travel size. But it's really a nice brush. I liked it. Wasn't my best bowl lather, guys. But was effective. And honestly, it felt really hydrated. Y'all saw it fall off the razor. So until next time, guys. Y'all have a good one. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. We'll finish up the Katie's Bubbles. And it looks like I am going to get some Nye Base to finish up that series as well. So we will get to that and we will finish up that series, guys. Hope y'all have a good one.